Hey guys, welcome to the Mobile Central. Today we are looking at Samsung's latest flagship S21 Ultra running on Exynos chipset versus OnePlus 9 Pro which is running on Snapdragon 888. Both of these phones are actually flagships with respect to their companies. And I thought it will be a great idea to compare both of them and understand how do they perform in terms of overall speed and performance. So let's get started. Because like all other tests, we need to begin by checking if there is anything running in the background and need to make sure that there is no apps which are actually open already before we start this test. So both of these phones have nothing open in the background at the moment. And then we will start with the internet speed tests before we enter looking at different speeds. We're going to do this internet speed test one by one on each of these phones to see which of them perform better in terms of internet speed tests. If you have seen other speed tests that I have done with the S21 Ultra at the moment, you would realize that S21 Ultra doesn't really have a very good internet speed in terms of connecting to the Wi-Fi. By the way, both of these phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi at the moment, so there is no difference there and there is no bias. And both of them are actually running on the 120Hz refresh rate. Okay, so we are done with the OnePlus 9 Pro, which finished at 90 Mbps in terms of download versus 20 Mbps at the upload side. You see S21 Ultra already struggling in terms of the internet speed tests and it is showing that the speed on S21 Ultra is almost one third of what we have seen on the OnePlus 9 Pro. So yeah, that's pretty much in terms of internet speed. Let's look at the upload, what's happening here, which is, I think it's gonna be in the same horizon. So we'll actually go and see if the slow internet speed on the S21 Ultra impacts or hampers its overall performance in terms of launching the apps and playing those games, etc. Okay, so this is clear that this round actually goes to OnePlus 9 Pro. Okay, so now let's see how this slow internet speed on S21 Ultra actually hampers the overall performance or it does, maybe, let's see. Okay, we'll start with some basic apps first, Google Maps. Both of them at the same time, no issues there. Calculator, let's leave some calculations like we do in all our videos just to come back and see in the memory management round if there was any issue there. Camera. Okay, OnePlus 9 Pro was delayed there. Clock. No issues there. Play Store. Okay, S21 Ultra had a very small advantage there. Amazon. S21 Ultra had the advantage again. Noon. Okay, S OnePlus 9 Pro had this one. Okay, eBay. S21 Ultra had this one. Mintra. Almost at the same time. Dubizo. S21 Ultra had this one. Let's get into the social media apps now, but before we get there, I would want you to tell me that why do you think that the internet speeds on S21 Ultra were so slow? Is it because of the Exynos chipset or is it something else? Because I don't understand this Wi-Fi technology and all of this so well. So I would love to hear from some experts down there who can help me and understand this in the comments section. Anyway, having said that, let's move into the social media apps now. We'll start with Twitter. Okay, got to do that again because I didn't tap at the same time. Twitter. Okay, no issues there. Instagram, no issues there. Reddit, let's see. Okay, OnePlus 9 Pro had this one. YouTube, OnePlus 9 Pro had this one again. Netflix, okay, so app is launched earlier on S21 Ultra. Let's see which one launches the content first. I think at the same time, no issues there. Okay, now we'll get into the gaming part of things. Now games are something which require a lot of resources from the phones. So we'll start with the casual games first before we get into the bigger games. Okay, we're going to start with the Bazooka Boy. Okay, I think S21 Ultra is going to get it. Yes, S21 Ultra actually got it. Okay, now we're done with that. Let's get into Crowd City. Okay, S21 Ultra is doing better in terms of games. So far, let's just start playing this game a little so that when we come back to the round two, we should be able to see if the progress of your game has saved. Why? Because that's the whole point of all this memory management of the 16 GBs and 12 GBs of RAMs on the phones these days. That when you do multitasking and jump between phones and jump between apps, I mean, you should be able to save your progress, right? Skyforce. Looks like S21 Ultra, of course. Now see, this had these slow internet speeds, but this is connecting to everything much faster than the OnePlus 9 Pro. Okay, we're done with that. Asphalt. Looks like S21 Ultra again. So I think the gaming section has been really well optimized on the S21 Ultra compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is very surprising. Okay, let's see which one allows us to play the game first, because that's how it 
the winner will be there for this particular app, right? Okay, S20 Ultra is doing a really good job there. OnePlus 9 Pro is still loading the app. All right, there we are. That's done. Last game on the list is before we get into the memory management round is the Call of Duty. So far, S20 Ultra did a good job in terms of launching the games. And if you are the one, if you're one of those who would love to play those games and stuff, I have done the comparison of both of these phones versus Asus's ROG 5 as well. So do subscribe and have a look at my channel. So I think both of them are very close to each other here on this round. Let's see. Okay, I would say this is actually OnePlus 9 Pro. But still, just let's wait for a couple of seconds and see. Very close to each other so far. Okay, I think both of them did this one almost at the exact same moment. Okay, now we can go into the round two, which is the memory management. We launch all of these apps again and see how the RAM has handled all of these apps in the background. Okay, so speed of launching these apps really doesn't matter anymore. So just tapping it can go in sync. That's really not a problem. But what matters is all of these apps should open not from the start, but should should always already be there in, in the open state. Okay, so let's start with the maps first. OnePlus 9 Pro relaunched this app. So this was killed in the background for OnePlus 9 Pro. This is what I've seen in the other videos as well with OnePlus 9 Pro. Calculator. Okay, no issues there. Camera. OnePlus 9 Pro struggling, see? So it looks like the story continues on OnePlus 9 Pro. The RAM management is very bad on OnePlus 9 Pro. Play Store. Okay, that's good. Amazon. See, this one's actually relaunching the app again. Noon. See, again, this is relaunching the app. So OnePlus 9 Pro is really bad at RAM management. eBay, same story. I don't think we should continue this, but still, just have a look once we reach the game section, because there we played a couple of games and let's see if the progress was saved or not. Do be easy. Same story. No apps are alive on OnePlus 9 Pro. Everything is just launching again from the start. Exactly. Everything is just being relaunched. Okay, yes, even read it. So I think it's, yeah, same story. So I'm just gonna rush through these and reach the gaming section. Bazooka boy, yes, it's relaunching. Here my progress is continued. Okay, I'm not gonna wait for that. Crowd City, see here my game is continuing, which we played a little bit. Here the game is relaunching itself. So that's pretty bad, really, really sad for OnePlus 9 Pro same story guys same story everything basically every single app on oneplus 9 pro was killed every single app see even the games are relaunching now okay last on the list call of duty of course same story so i think we're pretty much uh, convinced that s21 ultra is a far better buy compared to the oneplus 9 pro because the ram management is really bad on oneplus 9 pro so what do you think about this do let me know in the comments and hit a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you want to watch more of my content thank you for watching guys cheers